Rodolfo and Catalina Gawana shop at the same grocery store every week, so they were shocked when they came out and their truck was gone. No car, no nothing, no nada. They thought it had been stolen. Y cuando when we came out, we looked around and we thought, oh no, they stole it. The store manager pulled up the surveillance camera videos and this is what he saw on the tape. It shows a tow truck driver getting out of his truck, then nailing a no parking sign on a pole near where the elderly couple was already parked. Then you see him tow their truck away. And I knew automatically, because I'm a former prosecutor, I was like, this is a theft. Like, they stole from these people. The couple's truck was towed here to All City Towing. So we went there to get some answers and found the tow truck driver who says the man in the video is him. OK, you towed it. You're the one that put up the sign and towed it. I'm the one that handles over the towing signs. He claims he was just putting up signs that should have been up in the first place, and the Gowanas were illegally parked. Well, do you make it a habit to post up signs and then tow people's trucks and cars? We make it a habit to try to keep all of our signs updated. But when we went back to the grocery store, the sign had been taken down. You know, you can't put up the sign when somebody's parked and then just take their vehicle. It needs to be clearly posted. The elderly couple had to walk six blocks home with their groceries and were forced to pay nearly $200 to get their truck back. They robbed us. There was no reason to tow us. WFAA has learned all city towing has been in trouble before and had their license suspended for about a year. And now the Dallas Police Department has this video and is investigating this as an auto theft. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.